It's a big deal, uh, especially for me being a senior. Um, you know, we all know about the South Carolina Clemson rivalry, um, especially when it comes to, to football. But, you know, we take it seriously in basketball as well. So, you know, you never want to lose to a school in state. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's really big for me to uh, been have have been able to, to come in and beat them all four years. And like you said, you know, to, to have pretty good games all around uh, every year I've played them. So, you know, it, it just adds to kind of, you know, what we've been able to accomplish my four years here. So, you know, it means a lot to me. I would have to say that uh, Saturday's game was kind of the first game jitters. I mean, it was my first real collegiate game. So really, um, I was very nervous. I mean, I'm nervous for every game, but just really this game coming off the bench, um, I felt more comfortable. I did, I did, and I just kind of learned to, I learned from Saturday to kind of let the game come to me, don't really rush things, uh, trust my teammates. Um, I mean, it's always great to see, uh, you know, our, our younger players just kind of learn from game to game and, you know, for them to perform the way they did tonight is only going to boost their confidence. Um, but also, it's going to make them work a little bit harder because they knew, you know, what they did to get out on the floor. So hopefully our practices will get a lot better. I um, like to, uh, you know, enjoy seeing our, you know, our experienced players come out and um, give us a lift. I thought Khadija came out and gave us some great energy at the start of the game. And, you know, Lisa got some easy buckets under her belt. And I thought Tiffany Mitchell just played really solid, just both sides of the ball. and let the game come to her, and when she does that, she's a stat filler. After such a close game, Saturday was it good to see your team just come out and really, you know, take it to them pretty much from the opening tip. You know, you know, for us, I, you know, I, I welcome any type of game, you know, whether it's close, whether it's blowouts. I think we we need to work on us, and you know, both games gave us an opportunity to see who we are. You know, and you know, you know, it, I think USC exposed us um, to a certain extent, and I thought uh, this particular game it gave us a, a good mindset to come in and 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 do the things that we're good at, and when we do those things, um, we can afford ourselves a you know comfortable win like this. It's about those fans. I think there are eleven thousand or so here tonight. Um, just talk about that fan support that you guys are getting right now. I mean, it's incredible. You know, I you know I appreciate everyone that comes out uh, to watch us play because they you know they create an environment in which um, student athletes are supposed to experience. You know, they create an atmosphere in which our players can play to the best of their abilities and uh, and you know play well. They create a home court advantage for us and. Um, people know on television, you, you come in or you watch, you come in Colonial Life Arena, or if you watch it at home, um, it, it's an exciting environment. And that's what college athletics is all about. And I'm so happy I'm, I'm here to witness it, you know, for our players. Connecticut's loss earlier this week opens up the door, at least, for the voters to move you up to number one. Is it a little bit too early in your plan to be there? Or is that something, if it does happen, you're going to embrace it? Well, you know, I think it's a journey for us. You know, it's a journey that, um, you know, we've, we've come a long way. And for you to even, you know, for us to even be in a conversation of being the number one team in the country is mind-boggling to me. You know, you know, when you look seven years ago when, you know, we were just scratching the surface. Um, but that's not something that we can control. We can control um, the amount of pressure we put on an offense, an opponent's offense. We can control how many times we turn this ball over. We can control our approach to practices and games. And, and hopefully, you know, whether we're the number one team or number two or 25 in the country, um, our approach will be the same way.